scapegoat's back in the long drive. We should be cross. Uh, 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 auto save. You know, it's going to be really awkward if, <laughs> if I have a new viewer that's like, oh, I'm going to watch this for the first time. I've never seen it. <laughs> that's the sound they come into. Anyway, um, we're going to cross 900 kilometers today, which is quite the, uh, quite the distance. Um... Or did we already cross 900 kilometers? I don't even remember. But we're going to drive 50 kilometers today uh, in in this, this car. So let's see here. We got 284.6. So 234.6, I guess. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, 234, uh, 234.6. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so there we go. Let's, uh, let's get, let's get this thing going. Uh, well, yeah, so we're basically going to drive 50 kilometers. Welcome back. It's good to have you. I'm, I'm for some reason, uh, <laughs> accelerating with the brake off. That's cool. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so let's do this. Excellent. There we go. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Because I'm doing well. You know, I'm not doing too bad. I think, you know, things could be much worse in the world. I'm not working today, which is nice. And that's kind of always my goal is to not work if I don't have to. At least that's my plan most of the time. <laughs> I don't know about you guys out there who do work, the people actually have jobs. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm always so jealous of these people that uh, don't have to work. It's always, uh, it's always an okay situation. But yeah, it could be worse, I'll tell you. Like, uh, in this day and age, not having any job would be worse. Much, much worse. It's not so bad. But yes, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everything's going uh, going according to your plans for today. I, on the other hand, am doing exactly what I want to do, which is play this silly game all over the place. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, back on the road. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Whoa. 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 Relax, car. Relax. Okay, we're not, there we go. So 234.6, or sorry, what is it? Whatever it was, 34.6, whatever the next uh, stage of this is. Let me check my recording. Everything appears to be working, thank you. I can't see anymore. Oh no, stalled it, crap. This is what happens. Perfect, there we go. Come on, baby. There we are, okay, perfect. So, anyway, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a day. Let me tell you, I've had problems with my dogs. I've had problems with getting this game to work today. It crashed four times on uploading. <laughs> it was a whole thing. Uh, yeah, so it's been a bit of a day. Um, but other than that, it's it's been lovely, you know? And I, I just really enjoy this uh, this whole process. This game still makes me super zen, which I uh, I super appreciate the developer for designing a game that suits my my style of gameplay, which is it's ridiculous. And if I can do ridiculous and have fun, I am I'm okay with that. Let's try let's try driving from inside for a bit. Whoa! Okay. Rocks! Look out! Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. There we are. But yeah, like I'm uh, super excited to uh, to get back into this. I'll tell you, I've been waiting all day to play it, and so I'm hoping we have a good time today and nothing gets too weird. I don't like last time with all the rabbits. What was that all about? <laughs> there were so many rabbits in the world; it was insane. Like everywhere I went, there was a rabbit. Like, see, and it's weird because you'll go like like when I'm recording, you'll play for like. Uh, like, like 10 days in a row and see like, you know, rabbits in the distance, but nothing bothers you. And then suddenly you get an episode where there's like 75 million rabbits and nobody explains to you why they suddenly show up. And I'm pretty sure at this point that the, uh, when the UFO passes, it, uh, it causes problems with rabbits. I could, I could swear it. Now I could be wrong, but I swear the rabbits get more uppity when the, uh, when the UFO is going by, but I don't know. 
<laughs> Someone else is going to have to do that for me. And I found out you can fly the UFO, apparently, which I would love to do at some point here in the future. So hopefully we get to that point, uh, because that would be awesome. <laughs> I, would, I would really like to fly the UFO, but apparently what you got to do to get it uh, is... How do I put this? So, like, you want to find a ship in the road. Like, uh, because every once in a while the, the game will spawn a ship that crosses your path right on the highway. And then you just gotta wait there till one shows up. And that's really more the problem than anything, is that having it show up there and waiting for it is gonna not make for good videos. And I can spend, it can be, no joke, six, eight, ten hours in episodes between, um, seeing a, uh, a UFO. Like, I'll go, sometimes I'll go, you know, eight, ten episodes and not see one. So this, like, it, it, you can't just expect one to show up eventually. It just doesn't always happen that way. <gasps> Devil, Devil Road. Why is my stomach freaking out? I was going to stop there, but I've decided against it. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Oh, God, what is with the Devil Roads right now? Jeez. It's too many Devil Roads. There we go. Pass the Devil Roads. Perfect. Excellent. You know, devil roads are not a problem the further you get into the game. They seem to be less and less... Like, they seem to they come less and less, but the ones you get are more aggressive. So as I'm going back here, they're going to get more mild and more mild with time, I think. Which is lovely. It could be, it could be much worse, I could say. Well, this is fun. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, this is, a. Uh, it's a bit different playing today. <laughs> it's a bit different. I don't know if any of you noticed, but it's a bit different playing today than my normal uh, my normal way of playing. Oh goodness. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just so I'm so off my game today. Jeez. All right. Inside view is. Uh, I've only ever done one full episode on the inside view, so this is kind of interesting for me. It's, uh, it's very, uh, very exciting, actually. <laughs> you can't see the small rocks coming, so, like, not to the last second, so they're kind of surprising when they show up. And if anything Scapegoat doesn't like, it's just random surprises. I'm not a fan of just sudden... Su <laughs> oh, I'm just not a fan of sudden surprises, you know? <laughs> oh, goodness, here we go. I'm so nervous right now. Like, everything I've uh, I've done has led up to this moment, and now it just it feels scary. <laughs> but that's fine. We're gonna get to our our destination at some point today. We haven't gone that far yet, but I'm uh, I'm taking it easy with the speed today, because I'm almost it's almost like I'm relearning the game. So I don't want to go too fast just yet. Until I learn, uh, re kind of relearn my uh, controls here. It's all right. You know what? Things could be worse. Things could be worse. I could, uh, I could have died already, and I have not. So <laughs> there's that. I just can't believe I've gotten this far in the game and not died. Like, like all the way to the end and back. And like I said, it's not that I haven't died. It's just the only time I've ever died. Well, there's actually, see, I always say there's one. Technically, there was two times. And very back, I think it's episode two of the game, where I, uh, when I start the game, I talk about how I fell through the world the moment the game opened because the ground hadn't spawned in. So technically, that's a death too. But I had to reload my game a bunch of times to get the ground to spawn in. But, uh, so I died there. And then the time I, uh, I got into the game, it was just before I started recording, I was just moving around. And I was like, I gotta move this board. <laughs> and I moved the board, and uh, the board just killed me. And <laughs> it just killed me dead. And I've no, I've, ever since then, I've never trusted boards at all. Like, not even a little bit. <laughs> like, I won't even go near them. And I have, a, I have another game, another save game I mess with for testing things out and whatnot. And uh, I bet you I've died 15 times to boards in that game. People keep telling me, oh, the boards aren't that bad. You can move. I move them all the time. Nope. No, you don't. They kill you. They're murderous and horrendous, and I hate them. I hate them so much. 
they're the worst thing. They're the worst, worst thing. And, and the worst part is, is they're everywhere in those bigger garages. So like, like the, the whole ceiling of the, the biggest garage or the biggest stopping place anyway, are those things. So like, they're there all the time. So when the game starts up again, after you've stopped for a while, it's uh, like they're, they're flying all over the place sometimes when you spawn into the game and they'll like, they'll like come flying at you. I've had whole cars when I've spawned in because of like, you know, the way the game spawns double stuff in when you come in. I've had entire cars get stuck inside each other and then explode their parts all over the place and just about kill me. Like it's, it's, it's really insane how often that actually happens. And since I don't usually start recording until I make sure my game's running right and I got everything set up, you don't always see it. So lately when I've been starting the game, I've been starting the game, uh, I start recording in the main menu and then hit continue because I always do a sound thing. I don't know if anybody have ever recorded, but always record your audio on two separate tracks and then do a, uh, a lead in where you just get, you want to get rid of room noise. So what you do is you just stop and you make no noise for 20 or 30 seconds. That way when you use a noise reduction algorithm, it works better because it can get, just get the sound of the room to remove. So yeah, I was sitting there waiting for that noise uh, to get the noise floor of the room. You can, there's cars exploding. <laughs> there's things all over the place. Oh, it's great. It's it's like that. Now that's an apocalypse. Let me tell you, man. That is an apocalypse. That's a good time. You know, this is actually going better than I expected. To be quite honest, <laughs> this is. I didn't think it'd be going this well. I didn't think it'd be going this well. Considering, uh, oh, the sun's coming up. Here we go. This is what I like. Good sunrise over the desert. Not a whole lot. Oh, God, I hate driving through those long grasses, man. This is all right, man. This is, uh, this is going okay. I don't, I don't think, I can, oh, God, we're going off the road now. Uh, I don't think it could be, be worse than this. Um, <laughs> at least I hope not, anyway. Oh, geez. Oh, we got some good speed going here. Oh, my goodness. How do, how do I handle this high speed before? Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. But, yeah, this is uh, still a great game. And I think that as he expands the game, which I'm sure he will over time, uh... There's going to be a lot of added stuff. Like, I feel like eventually it's just not going to be one road. I feel like he's going to add other other routes. Like, I was thinking about the other night, and I think it would be really cool if, like, all the roads led to the same place, but you could take side roads to places, you know? Like, you could go off, and then it would, it would reconnect eventually, but give you, like, a separate route to take. That'd be kind of neat. Maybe some of those roads could be off-roads, like uh, side roads, like gravel roads and stuff. If you ever lived out in a country in North America, and I'm not sure about other countries, but you got your paved roads, and then you got your, uh, usually roads are covered in gravel. So, you get off the main road onto these gravel roads, and you got a lot of farms out there and stuff where I live. Um, and you can go to these, uh, these farms by going down there. But the, it's kind of a neat set up because like it, it just the whole texture of the road changes right oh this isn't so bad all right we got something oh god that's a bus <laughs> oh god no no bus no bus no bus there's not very many good places to stop today to be quite honest i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you there's not uh not a whole lot going on here huh sometimes the game's like this though where you just don't see a lot like there's not anything uh, not a whole lot going on out here in the desert or anywhere else for that matter. Whoa, okay. Ugh. Perfect. Let's get this thing going. But yeah, it's, it's, if, if, oh God. Oh God, I thought I was going to die on that rock. If you're looking for a game just to mess around with for 10 bucks, you can't beat this. And I was over the forums actually looking at some, uh, thing. I was having a problem with my game, so I was looking at the forums. And the amount of people complaining, like, I don't understand this game. Like, it literally says in the title what it is. You're just driving down a single road for a long, like, literally in the description of the game. 
it'll tell you, it tells you exactly what the game is and what to expect. And then there's like, you know, if you watch even one video from the Steam page, it's like him pooping and farting. <laughs> so it kind of gives you away exactly what you're dealing with here. Like, there's no hidden agenda here. I like that. It's like I complain, oh, you know, like, it's considering this game has been out for a year. I can't believe that uh, this is all it is. It's like, dude, it literally tells you in the description of the game what it is. What is your problem? Seriously. Like, I'm no fanboy of anybody. Oh, I hate fanboys, man. Oh, God, no, no, no. Ooh. I hate fanboys, man, so much. Like, there's nothing worse than when you get up some developer's butt, you know? <laughs> like, people are always like, oh, yeah, Hideo Kojima is, a, is an amazing guy. He sucks. His stories suck. His game sucks. Every game he's ever made doesn't make sense. And people are like, oh, you just don't understand the story. He doesn't even understand the story. He's talked about how he doesn't understand how certain elements of his own games go together. <laughs> so don't tell me it goes together if he doesn't even understand them. Like, jeez. Stop getting up these guys, these guys' backsides, man. Let, let's, if they suck, they suck. If you enjoy it, that's fine. You can enjoy stuff that sucks. I enjoy plenty of things that suck. One of my favorite games of all time is Ultima 8. Let me tell you, that game sucks. It really sucks. Like, it's go, go look it up. Ultima 8. Ultima 8. Go look it up. It's one of the worst games ever made. And I, me and my buddy, me and my buddy Dave, had, like, the best time of that stupid game. And it's literally the worst game. Because you can have fun with crappy things. Like, I like crappy movies. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't try to tell me someone's a genius just because you like them. Jeez. Like I said, Hideo Kojima's actually talked about Hideo. Sorry, Hideo Kojima. He had, they actually talk about, he actually talks about how at times he doesn't even understand where the story in Metal Gear Solid went. And how it got there. <laughs> like, it's like, it's really funny. Or Death Stranding, have you played that? Boy, what a, jeez. What a stupid game. Let's go walk for a while. Like, it's fine if you build it as like, oh, it's a walking simulator. Um, and, and it's got some cool elements like, you know, the world is, uh, people build stuff in the world. So when you're walking, you find it, things like this, like that's cool. But like, it's just, it's a walking simulator. You could have just put that in the title. It's a walking simulator with crappy combat. <laughs> that's all. Like in the description of the game, just say, Hey, it's, it's a really pretty walking simulator with Norman Reedus. It's great. You know, <laughs> but you don't, you don't, do you? No, you don't tell anybody. It's like. It's a, it's a, it's a first in a type of game that it is. No, it's not. Lots of people have done walking simulators. What are you talking about? Now, don't get me wrong. I really thought the game was kind of neat, but it was, it was just a walking simulator. <laughs> That's, you know, what it is. And no, I'm not complaining about people's choices either. I'm just saying, you know, like, what the heck? Like, why, why, why you got to defend what you like? Why can't just somebody say that's crap and be like, yeah, you know, I can see why you think it's crap. <laughs> like, I, can, I can understand why you think it's crap. Let's say, like, oh god, it's like the people, the the the, the born people, the blood born people. You know the, uh, oh my god, all these people. Oh god, terrible games, and everybody thinks they're just wonderful. Oh great, it's 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 Zelda. It's a scary Zelda. That's all it is. I don't know why people make such a big deal about it. Ugh. It's like, I like Zelda. Zelda's a cool game. So I like those games, but they're too easy. Once you figure out the patterns, once you play through the game once and you figure out the patterns of all the, the bosses, it's pretty easy to beat the game. You just got to get through it the first time, and that's where a lot of people give up because it can be a bit hard in, in the beginning. But like I said, once you learn the patterns, you are you're all set. But we're making great time today. It's probably because I'm rambling so much and I don't know. Oh, we got a building or something coming up. What is that? Is that a... The top of a mountain, or is that a building? Oh, let's see here. I think this may be a building. I could use a stop, actually. Let's see here. Oh, that might be a building. Huh. Yeah, I think it is a building. Is that a... Whoop. I'm slowing right down. Is that a house? What is that? Well, we're stopping. What is this? Oh, it is a house. It's just below the horizon a bit. Oh, oh no! Frame rates!
What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Something happened. I'm pretty sure that's my engine. Whoa, what the heck happened? Why is my engine on my hood? Why are all my parts everywhere? <laughs> Look at my engine, what happened? Uh, well, <laughs> see, this is gonna crash, I can feel it in my bones. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, something in that house is, is destroying the frame right here. Why how is that? Okay, this is this is so messed up. Don't look at it. Oh god, physics, hold on, bud! <laughs> oh no! I think the only solution... Uh, uh. Oh dear lord. I'm just, every, the frame rate is so, like, I'm getting one frame every, like, 15 seconds here. What is going on? Okay, it's kind of working. <laughs> it's kind of working. I had to reload the game a bunch of times, but it's kind of working. I think whatever caused the problem is, uh, 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 somewhat corrected itself on subsequent loads, but I feel like this is going to become more and more of a problem as time goes on. So we got to move out of here, I think, uh, is our only option of not suffering through this here. Okay. We're not definitely not stopping there, I can tell you that. All right, so let's, uh, let's start this up. Okay, let's see here. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh no, I stalled it. Come on. Come on, clutch out slow. I'm in the wrong gear. <laughs> okay, get going, get going. There we go, there we go. Oh my God, that was so bad. What happened? My goodness, what the heck? <laughs> That's great. You know what? There's this dude. Uh, I think it's one of my moderators, actually, who uh, says he can fix that problem. And I'm starting to think that might be the way to go. Okay, there we go. Just stay, stay, stay relaxed there, bud. I feel like that might... This thing is totally in my way. Get, okay, drop it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Whoa! We're all we're all over the place. Perfect. I, you know, I might take him up on that offer at some point. But if he's still offering to do it, because I'll tell you, that was not cool, man. That was not cool. But that's okay. <laughs> it makes for interesting gameplay. <laughs> oh God, this is too fast. Okay. Well, one problem averted. You know, <laughs> this is how this game is. You know, people complain about problems in games. Yeah, try playing this long term. Let me tell you, this is not the most fun I've ever had in a game. But that's okay. Well, actually, it is one of the most fun games I've ever played. <laughs> As you can tell, I got very low expectations going into things. Like, I remember, what was that game a couple years ago? Like, sea of Thieves came out. And, you know, it was a decent game, but it was like, there's no content to it. And me and my buddy there, we were just like, man, this game's great. <laughs> just sailing around, doing missions, having a grand old time. Man, we had a good time with that. It's like uh, 90 books and I in Raft. There isn't a lot to do in Raft, but it's a fun game. 
building the boat up, doing the thing. You guys watch it a little bit. It's not my most popular series, but I love making I love making videos with her because she's hilarious. So, yeah, you know, for me, it really works out. Is there another gear in this thing? No, no, we're at, we're at top gear. I think there's five gears on this from what I can tell. You know, it'd be nice an on-screen gear indicator, but that's fine. You don't really need one. That's all right. That's cool. In case you haven't noticed, I got a steering wheel. Uh, that I'm playing on right now. So hopefully it's not really super noisy. I can't hear because I got my head I got my headphones on. So I can't hear the uh, the wheel itself. Now the one I got's fairly quiet. But you know, there's always some mechanical noise and whatnot from these things, so it's alright though. The only thing I didn't get a shifter yet. I'm still working with the paddle shifters. But I think I'll end up getting the shifter at some point. It's just a matter of time. Before I get that as well. So I do it one piece at a time, save myself a few bucks here and there. But, you know, got the clutch and all that. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I definitely got a three pedal set. I didn't want to get like a two pedal set. You know, a lot of people are fine driving automatics. I uh, will drive a stick shift given the opportunity. The thing is, though, since I don't have the gear shift, I have to use the paddles and the clutch, which doesn't make that big of a deal, really. Because, you know, it's just one motion with your arm or one click with a button, but it still does, it still accomplishes the same goal. So you still got to use the clutch. And I'll tell you, I've tried it out in a couple games. Uh, boy, the clutch in my summer car is the most sensitive clutch I have ever played in any game in my life. If you just do it even slightly wrong, you're stalling that car. And it's weird. I haven't stalled a car in a manual transmission in, in probably 25 years. And, and I'll tell you that, that... That game I stalled six, seven times just trying to leave my, leave my driveway in the game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good times. Good times. What do we got to get to? 34 or 6, I think it was? Hopefully we don't run into... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay. 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 We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, God. Run the rock up the desert. Stop. Just stop. There's too many rocks everywhere. Okay. There, we got my lights on, getting ready for nighttime. We only got 10 clicks to cover, so we might as well be a little bit uh, excitable here. All right. Uh, now, hopefully we don't run into that freaking problem again. You know what it is, and I'll tell you. It's the physics in the game having a problem. That's all it is. Like, oopsie. There we go. Oh, no. Sorry, my game defocused. All right. It's just the physics in, a, in, a, in the game having a problem. Um, geez, here we go again. I'm getting scared to get near buildings. And so when the physics freak out or there's a lot of objects interacting, it just makes the game come to a chug. You know what? I'm not stopping here because it's just going to cause me problems. So I'm just going to move on. And the physics engine just can't handle all the interactions. Now, some games get around it like... Um, under the sand gets around it by there's physics on stuff up to the point where they stop moving like you put them in your truck as long as they stop moving the physics stop and they locks it in place so then you don't have physics problems and this game would probably benefit from a system like that but you know there's some hilarity to it all just not working but by reloading it a few times because the way the game generates the world uh you can usually get around it because What's usually causing the problem is something stuck in a wall, and it's causing something to freak out. Like a car stuck in a wall or something, and it's causing a major, major freak out. So all you got to do to get around it is, uh, you know, I'm not going to stop it. Let's go all the way through. We've already wasted enough time on that, at that spot where it slowed down. The, um, sorry, where was I? Oh, yeah. So something gets stuck in a wall, but when you reload the game, the whole world shifts the buildings like eight or ten feet uh, down the rope. So, by the way, a good, a good thing, never park directly beside a house when you save. Let me, let me just put, let me put it to you. Just, I'll tell you, man, I got a whole episode of me getting my car stuck in a building. So yeah, don't park your car right beside a building when you, when you leave. Also, never leave your gun in your hand when you, when you uh, exit the game. It's very easily fixable, but it's annoying when you come back in. I've done it a couple times recently and it makes me mad that I keep forgetting. But yeah, 
because you the buildings move a little bit down the road every time you spawn in if you if you reload the game a couple times if you've saved the game or it auto saves that building will have shifted and whatever was stuck will have been moved out so yeah if you ever have that problem where I, that i just had there where everything's freak freaking out and it kills the uh, frame rate and the game crashes or something just keep loading it a few times and eventually it'll 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 correct the problem on its own well life advice long drive advice with scapegoat i should do a whole video series on how to survive the long drive what to do what not to do how to find road lotion speaking of which oh no i never did check to see if we had everything on board today that's not uh that's not good this is, uh, well, okay, well, we're just careful. Is that a, that's a yellow one. I don't think I've ever seen a yellow one before. I've seen red and green. Thing in the sky, sorry. <laughs> so 34.6 is what we need. This is, uh, this is going actually quite better than I thought. And it's nice to know I can still look around with the mouse while I'm driving with the steering wheel. Well, okay, get back. Okay, it's a little harder, but I do. Uh, okay, get back on the road. Perfect, perfect. This is going not too bad, considering, like, it's a first try with my steering wheel, and I'm still getting used to it. And, no, it doesn't matter what you, doesn't matter how good a steering, I'll tell you this right now, it doesn't matter how good a steering wheel you buy, you'll never replicate real steering in a car. It's just not possible. Especially older cars that use hydraulic steering. Unless somebody's going to use a hydraulic steering thing which they never would uh, you're never going to replicate what a lot of race cars feel like and stuff because most of them are still using uh well up until recently we're still using hydraulic steering and hydraulic steering has got a very very communicative feel you feel the whole road through it now electric steering has gotten a lot better but it's just not there yet in my opinion but hey what do i know it's usable once you get used to it it's not so bad but oh god okay that was just, we need a better car. <laughs> we just need a better car. All right, let's see if we can find a spot to stop here. I think we're, yeah, we're, oh, wait, wait a minute, yeah. We're, we should be just about above where I need to be, right? Yep, just about. So that's that's about it right there-ish. Yeah, right there. So we're above where we need to be. So now it's just a matter of finding a place to stop. Sorry to say it wasn't the most interesting episode. I'm still figuring out this controller, so... We'll, uh, we'll get there in time. It's And there's a real huge dead zone <laughs> mid, uh, mid steering. So I got to figure out a way to work that out if there's a setting for that. Because I'll tell you, the dead zone in the center of the steering is pretty incredible. There we go. Come on. That's why it seems like my steering is a bit jerky because it's just, there's this huge dead zone here. And I know I'm not going as fast as I normally do, but that's, you know, just me being safe because I don't know what I'm doing just yet. And I got to map my buttons. I got the lights mapped. And I got my parking brake mapped. So when I need it, it's there. But I should probably map the ignition and everything, which I haven't done. So, okay. Uh, so you might be seeing more car-related content now that I got the steering wheel set up and everything. So, you know, put the comments below if you want to see... Uh, some more B-Man G or something. I want to tackle Pike's Peak again. I know I did that, and I don't think a lot of people enjoyed the video. But I have this thing about that racetrack as a kid. Oh, no. Please, please don't. Please don't. Okay, just, just slow it down. Slow it down. Okay, let's get away from that building a ways, and we'll stop. So we don't have that problem when we come in. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, we're still got pretty pretty crappy frame rates. Oh, we're getting them back. We're getting them back. We're getting some frames. Perfect. Okay, we'll stop here. Uh, perfect. Okay, parking brake on. Ignition off. Oh, my God. This was very stressful. <laughs> this was very, very stressful. Let me... Okay, close the door, please. Thank you. Uh, now, here's the one you need to do. Okay. What is that? Is that just a rock? What is that? Looks like a tree. <laughs> I don't know. It's very dark here. Okay, so here's a challenge for you. Play the game with the steering wheel, but drive with the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> so you got to control your dude with the uh, steering wheel. That'd be hilarious. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, how far did we get? We needed to get to 34.6. 
We got to 37.2, so let's see, 34.6. So that's what, three more? No, 34.6, so that's 2.6 2. more, I guess. Yeah, 2.6 kilometers more than I need to get. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, and sorry it was, again, I'm going to get more used to the steering wheel so it'll get more interesting as I, uh, as I pursue that better quality. Uh, please leave a comment. Give me some tips on steering wheels. I'd appreciate that. Uh, and if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you so much for watching. You know me. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Sorry, I'm not real good with this thing yet. We'll get there. Out.